Oh my god, I should have sipped. Why did I spill? That's, that's so embarrassing. Okay, next question. Hey guys, I'm Clementine, and I'm here today for another episode of Sip or Spill. I have a bunch of really cool questions, and I have the option of either sipping the tea and not answering it, or spilling the tea and telling the truth. So let's get into it, you guys. Okay, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, okay, okay, so first of all, I'm French, and in France, people eat snails. I don't personally think it's gross because I eat it and I really like it, but a lot of my friends think it's disgusting. I mean, I agree, it's kind of gross, but it's really good, like, really good. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh my gosh, definitely to, like, time travel and, like, teleport because I really miss, like, elementary school, and, like, I just want to go back and, like, sometimes, like, fix things or, like, experience something thing two times. What's the last text you sent? I think my friend sent me a TikTok and I just responded like, ha 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 What's the last thing you lied about? <laughs> Not saying that. What's your biggest pet peeve? I would say people that are rude and have like no manners, big and toxic friends are my pet peeves. If you won a million dollars, what would you do with it? I would definitely donate some of my money to charity and keep some of it to buy my family like a big house and then to donate food to homeless people. Have you ever told a secret you shouldn't have? Oh my God, so many times when I was in like middle school, I mean, I'm still in middle school, but like in like elementary school or sixth or seventh grade, like I would always tell my friends who my crush was, but like they would always tell him and I would always get embarrassed. So I shouldn't have done that. Do you believe in magic? I somewhat do but like I always know that it's fake but it seems so real but yeah I know it's fake what's the craziest thing you've ever done Ooh, I went ziplining across like a really big lake in France and that was really crazy and scary but fun who's your favorite friend are you kidding me like the reason I have so many like groups of friends and like multiple friends is because I can't choose between them like no I'm not answering that no no have you ever gotten into a fight? Okay, I always get into fights with my brother. Like we beat each other up and it's really funny. Like he's so annoying. He's always in front of the TV and I'm like, no, I want to watch TV. And then he hits me and then I hit him and then I hit him. And then my mom gets mad and then we start hitting each other. I don't get into like fist fights. I get into like arguments. I'm not like violent. Only with my brother. Would you rather only ever eat breakfast food or never be able to eat breakfast food again? I don't know. I can't answer that. That's a hard question. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I would definitely go to the Maldives because it's so pretty there and it's just like so tropical and sunny there. And that's like my dream vacation. Do you have any unusual skills? Okay, this is really weird, don't judge me. Okay, so I can like put waves in my tongue. Oh my God, I should have sipped. <laughs> Why did I spill? That's, that's so embarrassing. What's your spirit animal? I don't know. An elephant is my favorite animal. I don't know. I really don't know. Have you ever cheated at a board game? Yeah, many times. Don't tell my brother, you guys. Like, shh. I cheat on board games a lot. What's the most impressive thing you know how to do? Well, I know how to speak French fluently. I don't know a lot of people that are bilingual. Bonjour, comment ça va? Moi, je m'appelle Clémentine et j'espère que ça va bien. Woo! What Disney character or princess do you relate to the most? Okay, probably Brave because she's very like strong and she's not like afraid of anything. I'm kind of like that. I'm very like outgoing and strong. What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? So when I was in first grade, my teacher had like this stupid point system. Like if you went to the bathroom, you lost a point and I did not want to lose a point, so I held in my pee the entire day, and I was in the computer lab, and I peed my pants in front of my entire class, and that was so embarrassing, and my mom got so mad at the teacher, but like, I was so embarrassed, I couldn't stop crying. <coughs> What's the meanest thing you've ever done? 
I'm not a mean person, but I just don't remember. If you could have lunch with anyone living or dead, who would it be? Oh my gosh, it would definitely be Jennifer Lawrence because since I'm an actress, I look up to her so much and she's super inspiring to me. So I would love to like have lunch with her and like talk to her about if she has any tips for me and just ask her questions about her experience and what it's like to be in the industry. She's goals, you guys. Like I love her so much. If you had to watch one movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay, probably The Kissing Booth because I've literally watched that like 10 times and I can't get tired of it. It's not a boring movie. You can only eat one meal for the rest of your life. What would it be? I would definitely eat sushi for the rest of my life because sushi is really good. I mean, I probably would get tired of it, but like, I love sushi so much. What's your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now is Say It To My Face because I really like the song. It's really catchy and it makes me happy. If you had the chance to go to outer space right now, but you couldn't come back for a year, would you go? Okay, so I watched the movie The Martian. It did not make me want to go to outer space because you got stuck on Mars and it does not look really fun out there floating in the air and there's nothing to do and it's just like sad and scary so no thank you guys so much for watching this episode of sip or spill i hope you enjoyed it and drink some of my tea see you guys next time bye